pay-per-view shows of the year. Um, I mean, the first six, seven months of AEW this year were great. And they had great matches all the way up and down. And, um, you know, I think, I mean, we talked about wrestler of the year before the voting. And, um, you know, I thought pretty solid that Moxley would win. I mean, it was Moxley and Roman Reigns, and they finished one, two. So that's fair. And, um, you know, you take Roman, I mean, look, you take Roman Reigns out of WWE and their performance is very, very similar with him or without him. You take Moxley out of AEW this year and uh, it would have been a really tough second half of the year. I mean, he, he saved their bacon twice. So here's the argument for that. And I've seen this in a couple places is, well, Tony could have just put Jericho in that spot or Tony could have just put Hangman in that spot. What work, made Moxley would, it, so it valuable in that spot? It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't worked as well. And they were all put on. First of all, Hangman got hurt. So, you know, you can't really say that. But, um, um, but no, Hangman wouldn't have worked as good in that situation. Um, and Jericho, he could have put Jericho in there. We don't know how that would have worked. But he chose Moxley. And the fact is, is that when Rampage ratings went down, he moved Moxley to Rampage. And those ratings went up. Granted, when he stopped featuring Moxley on it, it went, they went back down again, but you know, he was a, when he was the pick and he was very successful and they, and plus, you know, he had overcome, he had overcome the fact on the, uh, you know, on, on, um, the second thing when he, when punk beat him, he had to come back from punk beating him clean to being the guy. And that's, that's a tough situation because, you know, he lost clean on the pay-per-view and then had to carry the company when Punk got hurt and left, or was whatever happened. You know, Punk tore his tricep and got suspended, um, and that was a real tough period for the company because you also, you know, that also took out the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega for several for several months. So um, that you know, I, I I mean, yes, you probably could have put other people in there, but I don't know that they would have been as effective, and perhaps Jericho would have been, um, but. Um, I don't think Hangman would have been at that point in time. I mean, later, when, when he was rebuilt up, but then he got hurt. So then you couldn't do that. So, um, and Moxley was the guy put in that situation. He delivered. Um, he delivered very, very well in that situation. Where, um, yeah, there's, there's always the people get the chance. Hey, look, you know, like a year from now, we could argue. You know, you know. Whoever, right? If, if somebody, you know, you can you can say, what if somebody else would, if was in the was in Roman Reigns' spot and worked more? What if Drew McIntyre was in that spot all year? You know, I mean, but he wasn't. So that's 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 the thing. You get picked. But do you really think Roman not being the guy keeps business as hot as it was? Because to me, it was really the the the, the total story with Roman leading the bloodline the Usos and then Sammy coming in like that was a dynamite uh, combination there uh, for, for the, if you if you're following WWE week to week yeah they had a great they had a great angle involving all of those different people which is notable because it was the hottest angle they've done in years and at the same time everybody thinks that it should have nothing to do with WrestleMania well the tag match but not the main event at WrestleMania or the big match at WrestleMania or there, or that at least, well, there's debate on that, but the WWE decision was, was as much as that was, and as hot as that was to build up the company that, um, you know, it was not their choice for the, the top spot at WrestleMania. Um, but you know, again, if, if I could see, you know, I mean, it's, it's like the weeks Roman wasn't there, the numbers were there. You know, it wasn't like they they went down. Whereas with, you know, Moxley, let's say on those Friday numbers, I mean, mm -hmm. I can there is an absolute tangible difference that you can see. Um, and again, WWE's machine and the one thing of, of WWE and UFC is is because of the nature of their deals, they're basically idiot proof, and it 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 like it's like they don't have to pay for bad booking. I mean, I guess they do. The ratings would go down, but they really don't. It, but it's not it's not like you're under pressure every week to do that. Um, you can you know, you can have lackluster shows and you're OK. Whereas with AEW, um, you know, the nature of the fan and everything like that, if you have lackluster shows, you pay for it. I mean, you just do. I mean, that's the, the, the deal of being 
you know, the, the promotion that got to where it was by having the better product, because if you don't have the better product and suddenly you're even, the other company is the major league again. And that's kind of what happened this year in a lot of ways. I think that's why, you know, AEW had a rough last couple of months and, and WWE, because they started firing, you know, had a, had a really great last few months of the year. And, and right now it's very, very hot uh, going into Mania. Yeah, AEW almost kind of got too hot because they pushed WWE and then WWE targeted their, one of their guys. And, and uh, that's part of why WWE is, is as hot as it is today. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, Cody Rhodes coming is, is part of the deal. I think that the 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 you know and and you know the bloodline story is part of it. I think the stadium shows are part of it. You know, just that atmosphere that they can deliver, and but that makes a big deal because you know again, just having watched that that Mudo show, I mean, it was like and and granted that atmosphere was out of this world, but atmosphere makes such a big difference in a show. I mean, I know people who watched the Mudo show and thought it was like the best show of the year.